So, of course, one of the most exciting things to happen at Safari Live is the birth of Krula's latest litter. And the day before she gave birth, we were lucky enough to be there and we started seeing some different behavior, slightly uncommon. She kept returning to this narrow, shallow cave in, in a, one of the river systems. And every time she would pop out, she would go urinate. She looked hot and heavy, but she definitely wasn't full of food. And we did slightly suspect that she might be on the point of giving birth. The next morning, we went to that little cave that was in the riverbed and we could just make her out. Look at that, look at that, there's a tiny, tiny leopard cub. Karula has given birth overnight. We are going to not stay here very long. I'm just showing you guys very quickly and we are leaving. Once confirming that they were cubs, we zoned the area and then we completely blocked that area from all vehicles to give Karula the best opportunity to get those cubs to an age where we are going to be able to view them. Even with a female leopard as experienced as Karula is, there are still so many different factors to become a risk for little cubs of that age. Between hyenas, lions moving in the area, the leopard cub mortality is probably one of the highest of any of the young animals out here. At one point it looked as though she didn't have cubs anymore and it was terribly distressing for all of us. She didn't seem to be returning to one specific place where she had a den site. We were starting to worry about building up false expectations and to get ourselves, get our own hopes up. Guys, guys, Google has brought her cubs to Juma. We've been tracking her. Look at the little guy. We just came around the corner. We're just gonna keep very still. Isn't this amazing? We came around a blind corner and there they were. She was leading the cubs back to a kill on Juma. And of course, absolutely ecstatic that we were. I am literally speechless at the moment. Oh, look at that, it's so cute. Now, a hugely controversial thing around here when we get new leopards is the naming of them. And in this case, that honor falls to Taxon and Aubrey, the senior rangers of Juma. This, everybody, is Hosanna, and this is his sister, Shongile. Shongile means exquisite, while Hosanna means little prince, and what perfect names those are for Karula, the queen of Juma's little cubs. <laughs>